Hey guys, so I recently created a model, rigged it, and then after everything is done, I figured out my hair doesn't move with the rig. So I posted my question in Reddit, I tried to find answers on YouTube and Google, but I didn't find any. So this was not supposed to happen in the first place. See, when I move my mesh, it moves with it, but when I move a bone, it doesn't move with it. What's happening here is the curves on the hair is not correctly connected to the faces or the vertices of the mesh. Now what went wrong on my side is that this surface deform modifier, it wasn't supposed to have a hair noise. It was supposed to have a surface deformed geometry system right here. When I was adding noise from the asset library, it has replaced the surface deform to a noise modifier. So here's how we fix it. First of all, go to Modify Properties, Add Modifier, and Add New Geometry Node. And take it all the way to the top, and under this arrow icon near the Geometry Node icon, type Surface Deform. And once I connect this Surface Deform, now when I move the bones, it moves the hair with it. Now this is not the final solution. In my case, the Surface Deform was totally removed by my hair. So how I fix that is I select the mesh, hit shift A, go to curves, and add an empty hair. Now once you add the empty hair, it automatically adds the surface modifier with the surface deform. Now I can delete that hair, select this hair, and go back to the geometry nodes, and I can find the surface modifier here. Here's a new one I added. And the next issue was with the hair. See. How I created the hair was using some geometry nodes with the geometry system somebody has posted on GitHub, I guess. So after using that, my hair was connected to the guides itself. When I used this method and there was an error here, the UV maps are not found. I fixed that, but this is how I did it. Select the hair, hit Control tab and go to sculpt mode. And in sculpt mode, hit A to select all the hair, the curves and snap to the nearest surface. And this will fix all the UV errors. So that's it guys. If you have any questions, make sure to drop it down in the comment section below.